Hello everyone, welcome to Home Cooking with me Hema Subramanian. When it comes to sweets, halwa is a very popular sweet and there are several varieties of halwas. Today I'm going to share one special halwa recipe which is made with fruit. This is banana halwa. So let's get started and check it out. So for this recipe, I've taken four large bananas. Just cut them into pieces. Transfer the chopped banana pieces to a mixer jar. Grind the banana to a nice fine puree. For the banana halwa, first I'm going to melt the jaggery. Take quarter cup of water to a saucepan. For this recipe, I've taken 150 grams of jaggery. So first I'm going to melt that. If you want, you can also use sugar, but jaggery will definitely add a better taste to the halwa. So the jaggery is completely melted. Turn off the stove and keep this aside. So take a nice wide saucepan or a pan. First I'm going to roast some cashew nuts. Roast the cashew nuts till they're a nice golden color. Remove them and keep it aside. So you can see there's a little ghee left in the pan from roasting the cashew nuts. I'm just going to just add a little more to this, just about a teaspoon. So first we're going to cook the pureed banana. So now we're going to cook the banana along with the ghee. Cook the mixture till it thickens up. So it'll roughly take about 10 minutes on medium flame. So now you can see the banana mixture is thickened. There's a slight color change. Now I'm going to add two teaspoons of ghee. Strain the melted jaggery to the saucepan. Mix it along with the banana puree. So like I said, you can also use sugar. If you're using sugar, you can directly add it. So cook this mixture on low flame for about 15 to 20 minutes. So you can see after 15 minutes, the mixture is thickened beautifully. Now I'm going to add the cardamom powder. It's just about half teaspoon. You can add another teaspoon of ghee. Just continue to mix it in. So this has to thicken a little more. So after five minutes, I'm just going to add a few roasted cashew nuts. So continue to cook this for another five minutes. So you can see the banana halwa is coming together beautifully. It's formed to a nice mass. So I'm just going to grease the tin with a little ghee. Transfer the banana halwa to a greased tin and let it set. This is going to take roughly about half an hour to 45 minutes. Once the halwa is set, remove it from the tin, cut it into pieces and serve it immediately.